Hey Cricketers, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you another fun and easy way that you can make money right from home with your Cricut machine. I'm going to teach you step by step how to make and sell car decals with your Cricut. Making window decals for cars is a quick and easy way to make some extra cash. They cost hardly anything to make or ship, which makes them the perfect Cricut project to sell. I'm going to go over all of the important things that you need to know in this Cricut tutorial. We'll cover shipping materials, project materials, licensure, care card instructions, and so much more. So make sure you watch this video all the way until the end so you can learn the right way to make and sell vinyl decals. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Carrie. On my channel, I teach you how to make all of my favorite best-selling Cricut projects. I also share craft business tips if you wanna learn how to turn your hobby into a business. I have a playlist on my channel all about how to make money with Cricut, so check that out at the end of this video if you wanna learn more. Before we move on to step one, I'd love it if you hit that thumbs up button subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Our Cricut community would love to hear your thoughts, questions, and experiences related to making and selling car decals with your Cricut. Leave a comment below to share any thoughts and tips that you have for our fellow viewers. The first step to making vinyl decals is to get yourself a Cricut machine. I would recommend a Cricut Maker or Cricut Maker 3 for business use. The second step is to find a design you love. Creative Fabrica is my go-to website for all of my fonts and designs. I found this hilarious Don't Park Too Close SVG bundle and knew I had to have it. If you want to download this design, I'll leave a link in my video description where you can find all the materials and designs used today. If you already have a subscription to Creative Fabrica, all you need to do is click on that big green download button. If you don't have a subscription yet but want to try them out, you can click that link down below in my video description to get an exclusive free trial. The best part about Creative Fabrica is their fonts and designs come with a commercial license, which is what you need if you wanna sell your designs illegally that you didn't make yourself. The next thing that you're going to need is some permanent vinyl. I usually use Oracle 651, although I've recently fallen in love with the holographic vinyls from TechRap. It holds up really well and is easy to weed. I like the way that white vinyl looks on car windows, so that's what I'm going with. There's a lot of different brands and colors of permanent vinyl out there, so you can choose whatever type you like. Just make sure that it's permanent vinyl and not removable vinyl. It's also worth noting that this vinyl is called permanent, but it's not actually permanent. It's basically a super sticky sticker that's made to withstand the outdoor elements for years. You can scrape it off with a razor or heat it up with a hairdryer and peel it off. You can get it off if you really want to, but if you leave it alone, it will stay. Some other materials that you'll need are a standard grip mat, transfer tape, and basic Cricut weeding tools. I've tried many different transfer tapes over the years and finally found this one that I love. It works so good and has the grid lines and it's sticky enough where it picks up the vinyl easily but still transfers it without any headaches. Now let's move over to Cricut Design Space. To upload your design, click on the upload button on the left. Now we can resize our image. If you look on Etsy, you'll see that most car decals for sale are around four to five inches. However, you can make your decals whatever size you want. Some people offer different size decals with varying price points, which I think is a great idea. Whenever you have the chance to offer an upsell, do it. You can resize your designs in Cricut Design Space two different ways. The first is by clicking the double arrow in the corner and dragging it down. The second way is by going up to this lock button and typing in four and enter. The next thing that you need to do is weld your image together. And I'll show you what happens if you don't do that. So if you go to make it, your Cricut doesn't automatically cut your image out the way that you see it. It breaks it up into a million different pieces. So if you go back, you need to highlight the whole image and then click combine weld. Now instead of it being a million different pieces, it's one piece and then you can go over and click make it. You don't need to mirror your image because you're not working with a heat transfer vinyl. All you need to do is click continue, select your material. I'm using vinyl. It's also at this point that I like to cut out my vinyl. I'm going to cut out a piece of vinyl that's about five and one quarter inch long. Grab your vinyl and stick it to the upper left hand corner of your mat. Load your mat into your machine by sliding it under the two little tabs and then pressing the blinking Cricut button. While the machine cuts, I wanna to talk to you about product care cards. 
If you're going to be selling car decals or any kind of Cricut project, it's always a good idea to include instructions. Creative Fabrica has a ton of care card templates that you can use with Cricut Print and Cut. I'll leave links down below in my video description where you can find these instruction cards. Now that your machine is done cutting, it's time to weed your project. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out my decal in a square. I always speed this process up so we don't waste any time. Make sure you don't start picking the letters out. You want to leave the letters and get rid of the background. So don't do this where you pick out the letters. Do this. Now it's time to add the transfer tape. Roll out your transfer tape on the table like this. Then take your decal and place it face down starting at the center. Now what you want to do is trim away this excess transfer tape. I make it so there's no stickiness hanging off. Grab your scraper tool and burnish it down nice and flat. Now you're left with your vinyl decal and the transfer tape attached for your customer and ready to go. Or if you want to stick it to your own car, you can peel this up and stick it directly onto your window. Make sure you clean the surface first with rubbing alcohol and a lint-free wipe. I always use coffee filters because they're lint free, cheap, and they work perfectly. Once you stick the decal to your window, you can burnish it again with a scraper tool or a credit card. If you plan on selling it, you just have to stick it into an envelope and mail it. Don't forget to include those care card instructions when you mail it. And you don't want to mail your decals out in any old envelope. You want to make sure you buy a rigid self-seal mailer. These will keep your vinyl decals flat all the time, preventing any curling and damage. They come in a variety of sizes and colors, so choose the one that best fits the decal you cut. Also, pay attention to the price per envelope to make sure you're getting the best deal. Typically, with anything in life, you're going to get a better deal per envelope if you buy in bulk. These ones right here are only 17 cents, but you have to buy 350 at once for $60. These ones over here are only $12, but you're paying almost triple per envelope and you only get 25. If you're just starting out selling car decals, then I would probably go with the smaller pack. And then if sales pick up and your business ends up doing great, then spring for buying bulk. It takes 48 to 72 hours for permanent vinyl to properly cure. It's best to keep this in mind before you go drive your car through a rainstorm or a car wash. If you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new, I would love it if you took a second to hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below. These super simple free steps really help my channel grow here on YouTube. Also, make sure you've subscribed and turned on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.